Hey everyone, hey and welcome back to yet another episode of Battle Rock Resume. Host Tom here, back with yet another interview. I mean, the guy needs no fucking intro. The goat on the wall, like the Alpine Ibex, still one of my all-time favourite bars. So glad he's back on the scene. Tony D, Tony, how's it going, man? Hey, I'm all right, brother. Absolute pleasure to be back on the show, man. How you doing? Very good. And so, talk me through the timeline briefly. So, the Soul Battle happened, and that's when you kind of retired before JC the return, right? I, I, yeah, I gave up the ghost, man. I like by the time Soul came around, I I was just fully spent. Just just didn't want to do it no more. And what? And um, and, and then what? Just ahead. battling JC? Was it you know? Was it the money there, or what was it like? You know what? I think there was a combination of a lot of different things. Like it was, the money was definitely like okay, yeah. Uh, I, I, I've got to think about. It. I have to consider it. Um, but yeah, it was just essentially. I, I, I talked to a couple of people, and the soul, the soul battle being like it was supposed to be kind of uh, the pinnacle of the UK at that time, and it really should have been something. And he he played his part. Mm-hmm. I didn't really play my part in that in that battle, so it wasn't really the classic that he should that it should have been. It should have. Uh, it should have really popped a lot more than it did, man. And that's on me. So having spoke to a few people, I thought to myself, it's, I can't leave it like that. So this opportunity presented itself. The money presented itself. Uh, and everything just kind of pushed me back into that. Oh, go on. Then one last roll of the dice, man. Let's see what you're doing. So, yeah, I'm taking like, I'm take, coming to take heads off, man. I'm coming, I'm coming in hot this one. And, like, JC seems like your sort of battler. Like, had you been a fan of him for a while or...? Uh, right now I got a battle in like three weeks. So I'm not a fan at all. Right. Fuck this. Um, yeah, I'd like I'm yeah I'm at that stage where I, I dislike everything about him from his haircut to the way he laces his trainers. Mm-hmm. Like everything just annoys me about him at this point. Um, so yeah, but prior to that, yeah, he's all right, man. He's I, I see why they people would say me versus him is a good matchup. Although the more I've been looking at him for research purposes, I I don't know where they're getting this comparison from. Are you about to get it? And you guys met, right? You would have battled on the same card in 2015, Battle of the Brave. Yes, Battle of the Brave, man. There's a photo on my Insta. Um, yeah, we met. We bumped into each other. We spoke briefly about it. Like, it, it would probably be a good battle. Someone was to set it up. Tear, tear, tear. But uh, it, it never it never materialised. It never happened. Until now, man. Shout out, shorty, shout out, Premier Battles. Well, yeah, and I mean, like, talking of a tear, like, I think he's had, like, three battles in the last eight days. He battled all the ba- guy does his battle. That's all he yeah. does is battle. And he's like this year alone, I don't know how many he's had, like tw- 10, 11. Yeah. He's got another one the month after me in England. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, Coming over for the, the platform, right? Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Like, he, he, he's, uh, he's spreading himself thin, man, but he's getting it in. I, you know, and but he's fucking killing it though. Like he battled Bankhead. I, I appreciate you wouldn't have seen that battle, but it was fucking. It was fun, it, 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 it's phenomenal. It, 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 but I'm taking this seriously. You know, I'm not understanding me right now. I'm taking this. I seen the Bankhead battle. Right, right. I seen. What, what about that the Glory back, Bar? The back whipping Glory Road. Like that bar was crazy. Uh, if I knew what that meant, it probably would be. But I have no I idea. Denzel that. Washington Glory, like classic Civil nope. War film, like. Right? Nah, come on. It's about the Civil War. What the fuck am I doing watching films about the Civil War, bro? Shit. I live in Wolverhampton in East London, mate. Right. Uh, let's, Civil uh, War every enough. day over there. Like, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. But... Yeah, I've got enough of my own issues worrying about American Civil Wars. Um, nah, man, he, he, like, he, he does pull out them punches, man. He's a great writer. Um, but like, I, I don't even want to really go too much in on him because I'm sure. about to go in him seriously. Uh but yeah, no, he's a, he's a good writer. He's he, he he's got that kind of um the aura about him. People appreciate his pen game. Um, so yeah, we, we're gonna make something happen. And what about the process? Is it you know same old Tony T? Have you put pen to paper yet? Or yeah, do you know what I did? I did. What happened was I like uh, about in July sometimes to be honest, about mid July, my barber said to me, "Let me hear something. Let me hear what you've got." And I looked at him like. Are you crazy? Like it's not till September, um, and I've got first before then. Like we just did that right, for right. peace, um, the, with the gun bars battle, which was so much. Yeah, how how was that? How was that whole day? Ah, bro, that day was amazing. That day kind of um, it it said so much. It said so much, not just about uh battle the battle rap community, but so much about uh Pete Cashmore himself. Mm. Like how loved he was, how missed he is. Um, the everybody showed up, man. Like you, the people I ain't seen since like 2012, 13, 14. 
just turned up in the building to come and show love. Like we raised a lot of money for him. Um, yeah, that was an amazing day, man. Look and look at the names that was on the card. Yeah. You had Furtz back putting on a show, and like whatever people think, I rate Furtz highly. It's not just a battle MC, but a rapper too. Oh yeah, great if guy. Yeah, rap do rap his ass off. But um, yeah, so like you had Soul, Quill, Shufflo, uh, you had Enlish and Scissors back. Mm -hmm. It was like it was just such a great. Yeah, just as the coming together of, of people from the community, yeah, it was just amazing, man. I had so much fun that day. And you were talking about writing for JC, so there's a few things that are there, or? Yeah, so my barber said to me, like, have you got something? So I, I didn't. And then I thought, all right, he's right, though. He's right. My normal process has seen me slacking in the last couple of battles, the last few that I did. So let me switch it up and try to go a little bit harder. So uh, I wrote a round, left it, went back to it a week later, kind of rewrote like 80% of it, left it again, came back a few days later, rewrote it like again. So it, I'm on like the sixth draft right now of the first round. And the first round, fire. Man. Like that's that's done. That's in the, that's in the memory bank. Um, the second is written and the third just it, it is in a million different bits and pieces in my mind and in on bits of paper. But uh, it's, it's being constructed should be done by by this weekend, to be honest, because I, I really want to have it locked in. I've got a lot of stuff to do, man. I'm recording a lot of music at the moment. Mm. I'm mad busy. Um, so, yeah, like, I'm I'm really taking advantage of this six weeks holiday off from right. school. <laughs> I don't have not a spare minute, man. I'm cramming everything in. Um, so, yeah, so, like, by the end of this weekend, hopefully I should have had all three rounds written. Like, the first I could rap to you now if, if, like, if I felt like it, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm serious about this one. I'm not playing with JC. Not at all. Because, I mean, yeah, the, like, the, I've rewatched the Soul Battle, like, you know, this afternoon and stuff. And you still were cooking at a lot of points. And I still really enjoyed it. And you still had a lot of those Tony Deisms. Like, who did you reference? Harry Roberts. And no one, like, I had to look that reference up. I had no clue who that was. Like, Ah, uh, yeah, he killed a copper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, he might have been a lot. No, he's not the last man to have been hanged. But he was the he he, he killed a copper in like the sixties. Yeah, um, he was released uh, recently after forty eight years. Look, that's see, look forty eight years, yeah. bird. That's how you know it's something crazy. Forty eight years, man, did near enough half century. That's crazy. But yeah, let that come on, man. I I'm, I swear, I think I'm known for doing stupid shit like that, mentioning stuff that no one has ever heard of in their life. I'm the only person who's aware of this thing, but I don't care. I don't care. I, 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 I do and, it because I think I'm. And it kind of made me, <laughs> kind of, kind of made me sad of it watching the battle because, like, in your second round, you say you, you have like a Vega shooter bar, and that was really relevant at the time. Move the crowd, like you know, whatever. And now, obviously, you've had all this stuff, and you know, nothing seems to change. But I mean, Soul was just on a different plane in that battle, wasn't he? Like, he really put you in your place. Oh yeah, he was like he was crazy, man. He like he rarely went crazy. Like I. He he did what so what like what I know Soul's capable of, you know what I mean? Like he really, yeah, just went mad. I'd like I'd, I have very vague recollections of it, but right. yeah, I know he was buzzing. Like he was absolutely <laughs> buzzing. But yeah, no, I just didn't uh I wasn't uh okay like operating at a hundred percent, not even not even ninety percent. It wasn't um just yeah, just one of those things. I like I kind of I battled Soul because it seemed to be the battle that everybody wanted more so than me and him having an actual real reason to go toe to toe. Or like, right. it was just it seemed the thing to do. Do you know what I mean? I'm at like it's me and him. It's like the same way that me and Shotty was, or me and Osh. Even though me and Osh was for the title, it's just who, who's the biggest names at that time? Who's gonna make that that fire matchup? So it was just one of those things. Uh, I had no kind of. Like, no animosity towards Soul. No, I've been a fan of his since before. Before anyone else was a fucking fan. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, before everyone jumped on the bandwagon of, like, how good this little kid from Scotland is. Right. Like, I've been a fan. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't have that kind of thing. And I just, yeah, at that point, I was just kind of bored of battling. I was doing it more so for the ego boost and for the, like... For the fact that the fans was... I still like the environment. I like being there. And I still like showing off. But yeah. um, I kind of realised you can only show off if you're showing up. Right. And I long since showing up. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't tell you the last battle I really spazzed in. Um, so, uh, yeah, I just figured you can't really... Doing it for your ego is no good because it's only damaging your ego when you're not, when you're not performing to that level. Um, 
So yeah, like the soul, I've, I've sat and reflected on it a lot, man. I had a lot of time to think about it. Um, so yeah, now nah, I just figure, let me come back, let me wipe the floor with JC, man. Let me mm. rap, remind everybody just why I am who I am and why my name ring bells the way it does. I mean, if you're both on form, it could easily be battle of the year, contender, certainly battle of the night. But the whole Apex card is fucking crazy. Like, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, do you know what? There's not. A, I couldn't tell you one particular thing. Like, uh, anytime I get to see Soul Battle, like, like in the building. If I get to see Soul Battle in the building, that's special. Mm. I've never seen Mathflex Battle before, and now I get to see the two of them. I'm a big fan of Mathflex. Yeah. So that long like that if i was paying for it that battle alone is worth my admission money um let's not even get started on the tay rock shotty headliner mm. man like you talking about the biggest battle rapper in america right now um the the face of smack the brand um versus a guy who's at the very top of the tree in uk battle rap and kind of went away did a bunch of things made black like, went and did music yeah. and did music successfully too man went and shitted on tours and stuff like that did all the, like did all this stuff came back said you know what i'm gonna do make a battle league got a couple of his pals together put this together and made magic happen and kept battle rap relevant in the uk for the past year while a lot of things was in turmoil you know what i mean it's been a tumultuous time for uh um uk battle rap yeah. recently and he's come back and he's put fire matchups on man he's put things together and then he stepped back in the ring and from what i can see from his tweets and whatnot this is not going to be the last time you see him in the ring and who can be mad at that man like just listening to shay yeah god damn dude know what the fuck he doing like so yeah i'm i can't wait for that that's going to be fireworks i, I can imagine the crowd is going to be crazy because despite even tay not being from manchester he is like i said the face of the brand yeah so Regardless, if you like battle rap, you know who Tay is. He's going to get a warm reception. Um, twerk on a card, like, who's arguably, like, aside from him and Geechee, who else been doing it like that this year? Nobody. Just turn up and shutting shit down um, with energy. Energy and bars, you know what I mean? He's got he's got bars, but the energy he comes with. The, the whole fucking event's crazy, man. And then you've got Shox and A-Ward. A-Ward's been on a little tear. Like, Shox is Shox. I don't see, I don't see how A-Ward beat Shox. I, I, like he, I rate him, like he does, he does his thing, but I don't see him. I, I, I don't see that happening at all, man. Um, so yeah, the whole the whole apex card, you can see that he put thought into it. You know, like he really he 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 went in a, like a um. Oh, and I forgot one. Um, real deal versus Jay Short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come on, man. Like mm. that's what I'm saying. There's nice. a lot of people like Jay Short goes under the radar. The people who's supposed to be listening are evidently listening because he's on the Apex card, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, and against Real Deal, who, who like, I can consider that guy a good friend at this point, man. I've been, like, I've been in so many different places with him at the same time. Like, I had so much banter with him. So, like, just so much jokes. And he's such a, he's a stand-up guy. Oh, man, yeah, absolute dude. Genuine. Awesome, dude. So, yeah. um, and he always comes out and performs, you know what I mean? You never get a week So reliable, him, yeah. Test that, you know what I mean? I'm testing to that. I can tell you that. <laughs> he rescues yeah. battles, yeah, even if the opponent's failing. Like, yeah. I'm telling you, man, I stood there listening to him shitting on me, like, like face to face, like, damn, you really getting me good. <laughs> I don't even know, I even got nothing to say. You really getting me. Um, no, nah, man, he's incredible. So, yeah, the whole car, man. Uh, like, o- Osh versus Matter as well. Ooh. Yeah, the Premier Battles um, title thing, mm-hmm. right? They, yeah, man, and even that, look at that. Matter one like Mr. Consistent, you know what I mean? Mr. Consistent, and the guy who's been there from day dot showing out again, like the early battles with like L's and soul, and that just, just he's been here, he's been here doing this. And then Osh, man, Osh don't need no introduction, don't need no explanation. You just say the man's name, and everybody knows what it is. So it's Saturday, 7th of September, Academy 2 coming up. You know, you guys can go pick tickets up on the Premier Battle site and all their social media and stuff like that. Obviously, we're on the live chat tones. We're getting loads of questions through. Um, on the topic of Shotty battling, Don Pappy Hostel asking, are you actually going to do a two-on-two with Shotty? Because I think he tweeted about that, right? Yeah, do you know what? Um, uh, it's, it's in the, the pipeline. Like, we're okay. both serious about it. We're both serious. There's not a, uh, it's not just speculation and someone's like rumor and conjunction and whatnot c- conjecture is uh uh it is something that we've spoke about and if we can get the right matchup happening 
then yeah, I don't see why the fuck not. Who wouldn't want to see me and mm. shut in a two on two, man? Who would like you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, come on, be serious. But that's another thing. Like if if we get the right opponent and it's working like that, you about to see me move to Manchester for a week or some shit, right. or he coming out here. But we're gonna make that happen. Yeah. If, if, if but again, it's the right opponents. It's the right event, the right opponents, and the right press. Yeah, like, shut your star now. I'm jumping on his coattail. Like he, when he, whatever number he tell you, give me that same shit and we make it happen. But yeah, like he, he's the guy that can make them demands, man. Like and like, yeah, like I said, we spoke about it. And yeah, why not, man? Why not? It'd be good for battle rap. But yeah, why not? Look, we got the summer impact card going on this weekend. Like I'd love to see you go against one of those teams. Like more, Imagine. more than like you versus Shufflo, like. Yeah, I think, to, to be honest, way, uh, like, Shufflo, Jesus, who wants to battle Shufflo? I've already battled them, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, I, no one needs that again. Um, <laughs> but, no, nah, I mean, like, Loaded Hollows or Gun Titles against uh, Tony and, and Shotty, man. Like, like, come on, man. Yeah, this is like, it, it just makes sense. It just, it just makes sense. So, we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Josh Owen asking, Tony, do you like El Manz's Pie and Mash? I don't really know what that means. Uh, do you know what? That's the pie and mash shop in the middle of Stone Market. Right. And no, nah, I don't. It's been there for like a hundred and something years, man. It's well, like it's proper famous. But I'm okay. not a pie and mash eater, man. I eat like chicken and rice and peas. Do you know what I mean? Or a bar of bacon and cabbage. Um, that, yeah, it's not, uh, uh, it's not a pie and mash thing. Right, right. No, good, <laughs> good to know. Uh, Dave says, Tom, ask Tony if the stuff he recorded with Flabs and Jem will ever see the light of day or does it even still exist? The stuff I recorded with Flabs and Jem. Uh, I've, is he talking about Ian Daniels? Um, yeah, I'm not quite I, sure. Yeah, I've got no idea. To be honest, this this stuff, I, I don't know. This stuff out there, it's not something I've even thought about. I'm, um, there's probably on SoundCloud or 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 it, yeah, you just search Ian Daniels. I'm I'm sure there's something up there. There's a lot of there. There's like Maestro on it. There's Gizmo. Um, I know there's a song with me. Gizmo, Design Matrix, and Rag and Bone Man that's floating around somewhere. Um, uh, so yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of unreleased music, man. There's a lot of stuff that's out there, but whether or not it's ever gonna see the light of day or, or come out, or whether or not people can still listen to it, I have no idea, man. Like you, you'd be better off asking Flabs or Gems or First, because mm. I'm guy in the know. Uh, Noel saying Tony D is a fire poet. Let's see more of that in the future. Um, am I right in thinking you like played one of Crafty's spoken word nights or something like that? Was that was that you? Yeah, I just earlier on this year I did. Yeah, so we um, hammer and tongue. Um, mm. I did a six dates with them. I've done Crafty's uh, thing. I'm doing another one with him in October, I believe. Um, I'm doing Mind Over Matter in September, I think. Uh, I've, yeah, I did a lot of Mind Over Matter as well last year. Um, I, yes, poetry. Is kind of I'm not gonna lie. I tend to go up there and I rap really slowly. It's like it's not actual, <laughs> it's not real like poetry. I sure, sure. Poetry. It's not Harry Baker shit, like yeah. Yeah, no, it's not like that. I'm not out there in a strappy jumper and a beret. Do you know what right, I mean? Right. And, um. Yeah, it's not. Um. Uh, yeah, it's not that. I just kind of just rap my lyrics, but it, because it is it's poetry, it's rap is poetry. Uh, it's, it's it's taken very well. It's appreciated. So, um. Yeah, and they pay me. Um, mm. So yeah, there's the, like I go and do that. Although saying that I have written a poem, I actually did write a poem called "Just Us." Um, so yeah, who knows, man? The, the future is, has a lot of uh, opportunities and the doors opening and stuff. Who knows where I'm going? You might see me being a the new poet laureate. Me and Mark Gris going on tour and shit. Okay. I don't. Nah, nah, I'm only playing. But yeah, um, yeah, I have been doing a lot of poetry, and I will be doing a lot more in the future. Yeah, I haven't listened to it yet, but you were on Gris podcast, weren't you, recently? Yeah, I was with um his the, the, the same. I think he took it on tour to Edinburgh right now. Uh, Mark can't rap. Mm -hmm. Where essentially we um he just involved like there's me. I'm involved in it. I think Shady, um, Inja, uh, who I battled one time in like '99 or 2000. Yeah. Um, but we um we taught him how to rap. Essentially, we just g gave him a load of advice. He phoned us for advice. He recorded little bits and pieces, and then he, he wrote some songs and just just him rapping. Um, and yeah, he's come off, man. Like I, I've got some of the songs he sent me, some of them. And yeah, he he did a good job. He he really, considering it's something that he wasn't doing, he wasn't interested in and whatnot. He yeah, he he, he raps, and I kind of appreciate what he's doing for the culture, in terms of um, he's showing an audience who. Uh, 
to a certain degree would not listen to me because of either how I look or how I talk. But he can he they they they're far more comfortable with him. But and he can say exactly the same shit that I'm saying. He can tell you that it's poetry. He can tell you that this shit. Some of this. The, any I don't care any battle rapper you want. The, Luna C, Shotty, Soul, uh, Quill. Anyone you name, Frankie Fraser. These men have got a turn of phrase that will like Shakespeare will quake in his boots. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a, um. This is not simple. I, like I'm an avid reader. I read an awful lot, and there's certain rappers who put words together in a way that's is sheer poetry, man. It's it, it's uh it's up there with any author you could you'd care to to mention. Um. So yeah, like so writing wise, he gets to go and tell people who would no, not normally listen to to that type of stuff. He gets to tell them not only that it's good, but he then explains to them why it's good, and and it's not like and the way he explained it, it's not difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. It's very, very difficult because he's tried for so long to rap, and this is what he's ended up with. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not. It is a real skill, and I, I think a lot of people still. There's an awful lot of people still make the joke about rap, and you forgot to see at the beginning. Do you know what mm. I mean? Like, like rap music, and you're like, bro, you don't appreciate what people do here. What like the writing, the level of thought that goes into stuff. You know, just because you what you hear a song, like, I'm rolling, rolling, rolling. Like, nah, man, go and hear Nature of the Threat and work out, like, how many different history books did he have to mm-hmm. look at? Soul on Ice, like. Yeah, not just to even understand that information, but to process it and then regurgitate it in a fashion that made it uh, listenable. You, you were able to take in everything that he said, whether you agreed with it or not. And the thing was, it was in he, he quoted people that you could go and check their work. You can go, like, there's a lot of thought that goes into rap, man, and I, I, I think it's underappreciated, way underappreciated. So Mark doing what he's doing, is like it's really good for um it's good for us man like 100 percent. i've seen nothing but good stuff people have, that have followed me and reached out to me off the back of it because of what he's done people who wouldn't listen to tony d but they've heard mark Gris talk about it so they've, they've they've said okay well if it's good enough for him we'll see what it's about and i've i've get i've garnered fans that way so yeah like i'm it's nothing but love for mark Gris and what he's doing right now George asking, what's Tony's favourite Spurs bar that he's ever spat or heard? Oh, mate. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, do you know what? It probably would be the uh, the one I just did for the BBC. Um, okay. For the Champions League. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That was great. Yeah, I forgot about that. Much appreciated. Yeah, mm. I'll probably say that uh, uh, we lost a leg um, and still didn't have a cane to lean on. Mm. I, I'd, I'd like that one. Um, or the, there was another one I said about we need we need more of this something more attacking more more offensive more attacking more of this more of that and then we got a more of a hat trick. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I think those are probably because other than that I can't remember anything else. I, I mean, said like it. the the turn the mic on, I guess, is legendary. Ooh, yeah, I said that then. That's yeah. fire. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. That's the. That's the one. Yeah, I'm Gareth Bell. I turn my I, I made my name when I turned the mic on. Yeah, that, that's, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Dave's saying it was on Ian Daniels, those um, Gem and Flabs tracks as well. So people okay. should go and uh, check those out. Yeah. Definitely. Either it will be on YouTube or Spotify or, or, or uh, Bandcamp or SoundCloud. Just Google Ian D, Ian Daniels. And, and I'm pretty sure it's out there, man. I'm, I'm about... No, I'm not, I'm not sure at all. But yeah, that's what it is. Have a look for it. <laughs> Uh, Podge Dwyer saying ask Tony what it's like being the only Irish battler on the card despite me beating both title contenders on the trot hashtag up the ra <laughs> uh, up the ra all day long mate up the ra and black lives matter mate those are the slogans all right, um, uh, Podge it's a it's a privilege to be the only Irish man on the card man it's an absolute privilege um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about it your political situation with beating champions and not getting a shot. Um, who knows? I, I don't work for Premier Battles, sure. but I just know I'm flying the flag, man. Do you know what I mean? That 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 uh, the, the 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 orange, uh, white and green is is is, is being repped. It's being repped fully. And quite a few people asking, like, is 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 JC like the, the comeback? Like, are you going to establish now, or are you just going to sort of take it play it by ear? Uh, yeah, to, for the moment, I mean, I've been offered uh, a. I've been offered some good battles, um, but that in terms of my life is different now. Like my life is a lot different. I, mm. um, so the the time that it takes to to give to it to dedicate 
to it is I, I, it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, and then like, I still get the same enjoyment out of it. Don't get me wrong. And I'm a, I'm a natural show off. I love being the center of attention. So being up on the stage, like, I, I, yeah, I love that. I love that energy. Um, but yeah, for the moment, it's just JC. Like, I mean, me and Soros have spoke about battling um, just because it's like, why the fuck not? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, he is who he is. I am who I am. Um, when Ian was over here last year, me and him spoke about battling. Um, and a couple of people have got in contact with me about that. Um, but for the foreseeable future, like that, I can't see any further than September the 7th. I don't even want to be distracted by anything further than uh, September the 7th. I'm like, yeah, I'm just coming to just choke JC the fuck out, just crucify that boy. Um, so yeah, that's that's where I'm at. As far as anything after that, there, there's there's names been floated. There, I still enjoy battling, um, but we shall see, man. I'm taking it one 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 at a time at the moment. Neil asking, in the opening lines of his Vossy Bop freestyle, does Tony say cocky wash? And if so, yeah. why? Uh, cocky wash, because that's the slang. Like, I might link your wifey for a cocky wash. It means she's going to suck me off. Sure. Like, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, cocky like wash. You wash your black. Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> this is what happens when you cross cultural boundaries. Do you know what I mean? Like, not everybody gets the slang. Not everybody knows what you're talking about. But yeah, cocky wash is just a blowjob, mate. Just, right, right, yeah. yeah. I'm going to use that. Yeah, I'm going to. Normal control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth. If you use it, use it in casual conversation. <laughs> don't go and ask her, hey yo, beg your cocky wash now. Like don't put it to her like that. You're not gonna get very far, sir. <laughs> um, uh, Jacob asking, ask Tony who his top five hip hop MCs are. Ah, uh, mate. Uh Roscast five times. Um Damn. No, nah, um Roscast, Jay Z. Um uh, M probably up until Marshall Mavers. Anything past Marshall Mavers, he don't count. Yeah. Um. Uh. Um. Woo, it's a tough one, man, because it changes all the time by people yeah. I can remember, like Red Man and Saigon. Um. Right now, because that's what I've been listening to for for a bit. Um. Yeah, I've been listening to Saigon all week. So. Uh. Yeah, he goes up there just because I was listening to him. But the ones who never change is really like Jay. And Rascars, they they forever stay there. Mm-hmm. The rest is changeable. And like you mentioned, reading before, like what are you reading lately? I know you are quite an avid bookhead. Oh, I just recently got um, How to Be Rat uh, by James O'Brien. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I haven't started yet, but I've seen so many. Like, I've seen so many reviews of it, and I've, it's supposed to be a really good book. Um, but I got that, and then the one I've, it's not called. Is there? There's a book called Humans. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, like Homo uh, sapiens uh, or is it humans? Yeah, yeah. That, but I, I have the sequel to that, but I haven't read Humans yet, so I, I'm gonna. Go, I need to go and get a copy of Humans before I, I, I tuck into this. But um, yeah, for, for the last thing I actually read was uh the Big Knockoff by Dashiell Hammett. Like, and ah. I, to be honest with you, read it about ten times, but I just felt like reading it again. I just like how he used his words. Um, so yeah, like that was the last thing I read was about a week and a half ago, um, and that that's what that was. Dan Maloney just saying, Tony, your battles of music and other stuff has helped me a lot through really difficult times. Thank you for being a real dude all the time. Ah oh, man, like, sheesh. yeah, I, I appreciate that, man. That's like yeah. mad humbling. That's uh, like aside from everything, you know, like when all said and done, for someone to say that you helped them, regardless, like it. It don't matter if you made a million pound or 10 million pound or a pound. If you help somebody like that, it it, it, it just means that a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, yeah, I'm 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 humble. Thank you, man. Thank you for, for even letting me know. Like, I appreciate that. That's um, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And Cheers. I mean, this, this is a big it's a big can of worms here, but I mean, if you can be succinct as possible, Don Poppy Hostel asking, how does Tony feel about the state that UKBR is in currently? Um, I never should have left, man. Right, <laughs> it did all fall apart pretty much after volume know, three. Yeah, all went it all went to shit as soon as I stepped out the door, didn't it? Uh, I turned around, I turned my back for five minutes. Look what you monkey thing <laughs> did. Um, no, nah, I, I I think it's the community is still there, as evidenced by 
uh, for Pete's sake the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I don't think we're ever going to get back to the, the uh, how you say that word, the, the Halla Sundays? Yeah, the, the, yeah, how can, yeah, yeah. How do you say that word? I know which word you mean, yeah. Yeah, you know the word. I've only ever yeah. seen it written. So I, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but I have, yeah, like, I don't think with, like, from 2012 to 2015, I don't think we ever going to re- re- regain that period there. That's that's not going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. um, so, like, when the views was going through the roof, there was big events, like, it was bubbling. Um, but the decor that remains, I think it's having a little bit of difficulty garnering new fans at the moment. Um, and I think there's also a lack of big personalities um th- like they're actually doing things and doing big things um like i mean don't flop had an awful lot of talent they had a massive talent pool so it was so varied you had like you had a lunacy you had a shotty you had a tony d but you also had a mickey worthless you had a craft d you had a harry baker you none of these people fit in a box with each other do you know what i mean but they all somehow managed to work underneath this big umbrella um so the the talent pool was was almost limitless and now i think every lap people have grown up they've got older um and there's not there's not the same camaraderie because the events are not as frequent as they used to be once you go to an event it's all love man like i went i went gab not long ago just went to uh for pete's sake uh but you turn up there and, and it's, it's it's just love all, at all times but I don't think it's going to, if people are waiting for it to get back to that peak, I don't think it's, it's, it's ever going to. I don't think battle rap in general is going to see that peak again. I mean, the whole, like the, the cannabis versus Diz, the Lux Calico. Um, you versus just, Adam the Rapper, like. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, me versus I mean, in, in a more minor thing, but still like that energy. like. Yeah, no, it's exactly that though, man. Just that that real the real energy, the real, we're here to, we're like, we're here to listen and we're here to appreciate. Um, and just that, yeah, I don't know. I there was just a particular feeling, man. There was something in there. Um, that was just, just, that was just in that time. And I feel sorry for anyone who never got to experience it. Like if you wasn't at the, uh, the birthday bash for me and ocean shorty arsenal, like, and you missed that environment there gets hanging off the back and he's screaming his head off and shit. Like you, yeah, the, the energy there was crazy. Um, so like, I don't know. I see premier battles trying to do their thing and trying to bring it back together again. But I also think that people that, uh, aren't managing their expectations in a way that, that they should. Like, I think people, when they went really big and good battles were popping off, people were kind of surprised by it. They weren't expecting it to be as good. Um, but now, because the level of the bar was set so high, now everyone's expecting every single battle to hit those hats. And then, again, it depends on if you're in a room and there's only 30 people in a room, that they're not going to be able to muster the energy that 150 people in the room is going to do. Even somewhere like Fiddlers, you know what I mean? Like, there's a massive difference between 30 people. And like, when me and Shocks battled and we packed out the Fiddlers, do you know what I mean? People on the ceiling fans and shit like that, if we packed it out. That energy was crazy. And it's going to be really, di- unless it's consistently that energy, which you're also going to have to have those names. And who's who's really running, leading the pack right now and taking, like, who's took that mantle? You got like when I first came to Don't Flop, I battled, I don't know, six times in like, I know I battled three times in six weeks. I battled Adam, Truth, and Token. Right? Um, in, in, uh, no, not Adam, Truth, and Token. Is him in there? Oh, oh, he's, oh, yeah, oh, he's, yeah. Eyes, Truth, and Token. But, and then him was like four weeks after that. Yeah. So there's four battles in 10 weeks. Like, I swept through. I, I like I was on it. I was I was really hungry and I was by it. But they I, I could do it because the events were being put on. Like where is there now? What event is, is being held monthly? What's happening time after time? So um the events are not happening in the same fashion. Uh so yeah, it's it's it's, it's a it's a different scene, um, a different energy. The, the, the fans, uh, the older fans have gone away and left. The the newer generation are either like not showing up or not interacting in the same way do you know what i mean like at certain times you watch battles and the crowd is sleeping on everything and you're like what did you what did you come for what did you even turn up for because listen to what he just said and you've completely kind of just ignored it so uh 
or you just let it kind of go over your head because you're talking to your power, you got drunk or something. It's a different type of thing. Um, so yeah, I, I, it's never going to hit those days again, man. We're never going to reach those those dizzying heights. Uh, I don't think. But um, the Premier Battles is moving it. This is a this Apex card is crazy, and we'll see how many more of these can happen, man. How many how many more big cards can get put on in this country? We'll see how many like if people are still involved and still invested. Canel saying it's Halcyon, by the way, just for us to know in the future. Halcyon. Maggie. Yeah, Halcyon. See, now I know. Now I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Have you ever seen something written down? It's it's a. Oh, yeah, yeah. all the time. All the time, yeah. Um, uh, George asking, will Tony ever be on Ruin Your Day? I I, I guess it's just the opportunity has to arise, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I was supposed to be on it. when they came here, when King of the Doctors came oh, here, yeah, I was with yeah. Avo, man. Uh, I was I was actually with Avo, Bam, and Bagnall. But uh, like again, my life is different now, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a working man. I'm 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 out here doing stuff. Oh look, see, let me just I gotta gotta say bye to my brother. Nah, it's nah. His birthday. Look, even but yeah. Um, come. Come. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, ruin your day. Yeah, ruin your day. So I was out there with Avo, um, just the other day, man. So. If I ever find myself in California, then, yeah, I guess it's going to happen. Or if he's ever back here for an event, which is he's more than likely, man. He's a good guy and he's one of the top cameramen in the world. So if we ever see him over here again, um, yeah, we'll get it cracking. Any uh, any final thoughts? Anything you want to part to the guys? Or um, No, just to say, uh, keep your eye out, man. We're coming back. Tony D's like, he, 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 he's back for this JC battle. He's 110% focused. Um yeah, I'm just, and I'm happy to be back, man. I'm 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 really happy with the opportunity that show he's given me. Like even there was a point where it didn't look like it was gonna be JC, and he was like, "I still need you on the card, man. So just give me a name, any name." Like he showed me so much love, uh, and he and he's paying me an awful lot too. So yeah, I ain't mad at all, man. So yeah, like just watch out, Tony D coming back. Tone. Always a pleasure, man. We'll have to get you on after the battle and recap that and build up to everything else. Maybe talk a little bit more dash or hammer, but. Tony, as always, pleasure to have you on. Thanks again, bro. Uh, thanks for having me, brother. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, brother. I'll catch up with you soon. Are you at All Apex? Right. I'm not at Apex, unfortunately, but I'll be at something, so I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Uh, I'll see you soon, man. All right, brother. All right. Cheers, Tony. All right. Now, nice son, Jesus. Right.